Fakes left, now taken off. Gonna run for it, he got it! And there he goes! Inside the 10, the 5! Oh, the play of the year in the NFL! Holmes retreats to the 25, steps up, desperation time, and it's intercepted! The Bills are gonna hand the Chiefs loss number one. I'm gonna get really fucking sad if we don't get this, bro. Josh! Fuck the running backs! You do it! Please, Josh. Josh! 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 Josh Allen! Josh Allen! Give the defense aura, Allen. Give the defense some aura. Welcome back YouTube to another rant and today I want to talk about the NFL Considing with the Bills versus Chiefs. So It's been a long time coming since this whole season people have been waiting to give the Chiefs a run for their money I've not been keeping up lately, but now it's like at the end of the season, that's when I try to keep up because Super Bowl is around the corner and everything. We're just a month away, actually two months away, but with playoffs and everything. From what I've seen, and this is just me, you can correct me, whatever. From what I've seen, because I'm a casual. Bills and maybe, maybe the Eagles. Because I know the Eagles, if I'm, cor if I'm wrong, correct me. The Eagles went to the, to the Super Bowl with the Chiefs, and the Chiefs beat them, right? Honestly, the Bills look good. They just look good. It was iffy for them to go down on for that fourth in the first half, I think, because I was like, yo, just just punt, just punt it, bro, just punt it. But they wanted to go down because they wanted you want to you want to have a lead on the Chiefs as much as possible. But the Chiefs, I just like. We're on their heels, right? So what I've seen, right? What I've seen is that if the Bills keep up the the running game, keep up the the um the long game, they just they just got this. Their defense needs to really, really, really stay in shape coming up with the playoffs and everything. Because from what it looks like, they are the best option. Eagles, I'm not really trusting them with them all. I feel like that big stage just cracks you. And if there's just something about that big stage. Joe Burrow, he went up there. He hasn't been the same ever since. The Eagles show that they're a good, well-rounded well team with Saquon and everything. But I just don't know if the lights, I just, they're prepared for it. There's just something about, if you get to that level where you're like, you're like Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, and you get to the lights, there's just something about like, can you handle it? Can you perform under pressure? Because the Super Bowl is die, die. It's like die right there. You know, it's not like a NBA playoffs where you get like seven, ch four chances to really go to seven games or whatever. You know, and it's if it's an overpowered team, you know you're done. You're done. So with the Super Bowl and the playoffs, it's like one one loss and you're done. One loss and you're done. So the pressure is. I it's most at its most, and I feel like the Bills just got it. They just have something that could take down the the, the Chiefs, and they're the, literally the only closest rival. I could have said Joe Burrow because I did see that in the Super Bowl. I really thought like, yo, this dude could be the like the next up. He could be the next up, but with the NFL, everything just if it's not team, if the if the organization is not organized well, it's out of your control, right? And of course, he's been dealing with challenges, but I feel like him, Joe Burrow, could really show Patrick Mahomes. But he's not even got the experience to get to that, where you get to a high level of like being up there in the AFC Championship or whatever, and competing and giving it your all, and just like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat, you know. So, 
my faith is in the Bills. My faith is in the Bills. This game was just absolutely good. They really did take they take they took those chances on the fourth and down. Honestly, more oh so what? I wouldn't have taken them. I just feel like that was a risk. But they they capitalized on them. They capitalized on them. So it's like that whole team was already in sync and everything. But that interception showed me like the Chiefs are also like on the heels. The Chiefs couldn't capitalize right after they couldn't capitalize on the second half and they really came out the gate on the second half because second half is where is where it all goes down. First half you can blame it to the game, whatever, you're not ready. Second half is where you go out and you and they were just right on their heels. They were right on their heels. But it's enough for me to say I can give the Bills the edge, but I won't be surprised if they get defeated. I won't be surprised if they get defeated. It's just everything is behind them. I don't even know where Travis Kelsey is at. He looked iffy this whole game. I don't know about if that, let's say maybe he's not feeling well, maybe he has an injury, whatever. Let's say he's back on on full pressure. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Because at that point, the Bills cannot, cannot, cannot just their offense is good. Their offense is good. Don't get me wrong. But can their defense on the Bills side? out maneuver and defend the offensive side of the chiefs and that's where the every every team has kind of failed and i i'm honored to be in new england and say like hey tom brady beat that nigga so i cannot i cannot i can say that but it's like at that point tom brady just had experience on this dude he just like oh i can read this dude and this 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 this, this and it took him down you know it was defense and offensive at the same time not only on the on the Patriots, but also on the Bucks. So there's something he knew, like, oh yeah, I can take this dude down, and that's just like the leap of experience that he's gonna capitalize on over Josh Allen. Him going to the Super Bowl, what three, four times now, puts him at an advantage than Josh Allen. Josh Allen is still stuck at the at the playoff at the playoff um, cap. He only doing the AFC, and he can't even get get ahead of that even. You know, so it's like he's been beat by Tom Brady. He's been beat by the new kid. Or are they the same class? I don't know. And he's now what what Patrick Mahomes have on all of them, even with the Steelers and everything. He just has that experience to the Super Bowl. The trips to that Super Bowl put you in a in a more competitive state that it just makes the regular season games if the team is, let's say the team is perfect, it makes the regular games go by quick. It just makes it easy, easy, easy. You can read it. You can be like, oh, shit, I've seen this. I've seen this. I've seen this. And I'm not saying they're not all, but at the Super Bowl level, it's like you've just got to that top, top level and you've kept going back that you're just all over them. Rodgers, he's out. Like, he's out. I don't even want to make it about Rodgers, but that man is out. The, the, the Jets experiment is done. That man has just hit this peak, bro. You got to go. The Steelers, I could give it to them, but I just feel like maybe, I forget his name, Russell has a chip on his back and everybody's doubting him with Bronco. Bronco was a terrible fit. That was a terrible fit. But this right here, the Steelers and everything, it looks like a good fit. It looks like a good fit. But at the same time, I just cannot give it to him. I just cannot give it to him because I just see it as a Josh Allen season. I see it as a Josh Allen way to just cut right through, cut right through. Because those are... So my four teams right now is the Bills, the uh, Chiefs, the Eagles, and the Steelers. Those are the four teams I see going to like up up there and making it. Things could be different, whatever. But that's where I see it. I cannot give it to Russell. I feel like Russell may may do like two playoff games or whatever. But it's just it's not it's it's not gonna it's not gonna go through. Unless he really has that chip on his back. Because I can see it in his eyes. I can see like, yo, he really, he's really like trying to outperform, trying to be the best. Like, this is it. This is it. I got to go all out. But again, it's a young man's game. It's a young man's game. Josh Allen has like maybe two or three seasons. If he can't get through to the Super Bowl, he's cooked. He's cooked. He's getting sold and everything. That's just me. But. Let me know in the comments, what do you think, who you got, and I may do an, another video in January, seeing where everything is, but 
Let me know where you think. Are people confident in Josh Allen? Or is it just the Chiefs all the way? I feel like it's a 50-50 fit for me, but I'm giving Josh Allen the edge because I feel like this was well all Like the two deep passes, absolutely magical. But at the same time, it just showed like the Chiefs were either not ready or didn't have all their weapons assembled. But that's just me. What do you guys think? Let me know. Look, bro, finger itch. Niggas penny pitch. I ain't even gonna act like I ain't been there. It's just been a minute. They see me out and then salute, nigga. I've been lieutenant. Ex bitch trying to spin back, but her subscription ended.